Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back. I'm Jeannie and I'm still in the spring moods. We're gonna do this really quick and simple gel polish mani using these beautiful colors. And I know a lot of people have gel allergies. So today we're gonna do a little bit of nail art without using any gels. So I've got these really fun nail art micro pens from the Daily Charm. So we'll be using that to create these flowers. So if you wanna see my process, stick around and we'll get into it. Jumping right into it, I always start every gel polish manicure with a layer of gel base first because the gel base helps your gel polish color apply more smoothly and evenly. So for today's mani, I have the rubber base gel from the Daily Charm. So if you're not familiar with rubber base gel, it is a base gel, but it is a little bit different in that it's a little bit thicker than a regular base gel and it's more flexible. So it's really great for people that experience lifting because if you have thinner natural nails that tend to bend a lot, it will bend with your natural nails, which can help with lifting. So I applied that base gel to my thumb. I flash cured it because I like to cure my thumb separately. I'm gonna do the rest of my nails and then once I'm done with the rest of my four fingers, I will give my nails a full cure for 60 seconds because the rubber base gel is a thicker gel. And I know now rubber base is becoming a bigger, more well-known thing. So I do see a lot of questions on if I'm using my rubber base, do I need a layer of gel base first? And the answer is no, you don't because it replaces your base gel. I'm going to be starting with Lydia from West Coast Dips, and this is going to go on my thumb, index finger, and pinky. And I can't believe I've had this color for so long and haven't used it yet. So it is the most beautiful, like light, smoky, bluish, purplish, iridescent shimmer. And I feel like the shimmer in there is like a blue shimmer, but it is just so pretty when the light hits it right. I will say though, and you'll see in the first layer, it is a bit sheer and because my nails are longer. So as my base, I am wearing the medium square pro gel tips from eye gel beauty. So the longer your nails are, the more layers you need for coverage. And since this is a sheer color, I do end up doing three layers of Lydia on all my fingers, just because I wanted a little more opacity. I could have easily gotten away with two, but I just wanted a little more coverage. So I went with three. West Coast Dips is one of my favorite small businesses for gels. I just love her variety of gel polish colors. I never have any issues applying them. They're always so easy to work with. And I love like the different finishes and like, well, I already said variety, but even the builder gels, I love her builder gels. They are definitely some of my favorites as well because you can get like the solids and the iridescents and you can get some in a bottle, some in a pot. There's just so many options that I highly recommend West Coast Dips and all her gels are HEMA free. So if you do have a HEMA allergy, this may be a good option for you. Obviously there's other reasons you can have gel allergies, so it may not work for you, but it's definitely worth a try just with caution. Having said all that, I am an ambassador for West Coast Dips, but I was a customer for a year, probably more, before I even became an ambassador, but I was just so obsessed with their products and I always stood by them, which is why I became an ambassador. So I would always only share my honest opinions with you and I definitely do recommend West Coast Dips. So you can use my code Genie10 to save 10% off your orders. I don't receive anything from it, it's just a discount code for you to use if you're interested in any of their products.
I did my third layer of Lydia off camera just because I didn't want to be too repetitive and I wanted a little bit more opaqueness from the color. So the next color I'm going to be using is Dream Big from Daily Charm and it's one from their Hollow Jelly collection. And I, it drives me nuts because you can't really see the hollow glitters in here, but you just have to see it in person. I love this whole collection. I bought it as soon as they released it just because I was obsessed. And I'm not even a huge jelly person, but I thought these colors were just so beautiful and neutral. And then the hollow glitters in there, even though I can't really capture them well on video or pictures, was just so beautiful. So I definitely highly recommend it. And because I did three layers of Lydia, I wanted to keep my layers even. So I'm going to go ahead and do three layers of this as well. And you can see it's pretty sheer on the first layer. That's because it is a jelly collection, but it's still a really beautiful color and I'm able to build it up with more layers. And I did speed this up just a little bit, just because it is my basic gel polish application. There's not really much to say about it, but I'll hop back on when we get to the nail art using the micro pens. Now that I have three full layers of all my gel polishes on, I've got the Nail Art Micro Pens from The Daily Charm. I bought the whole set because I thought these were so fun. They are not gel. They're kind of, I'm not sure if they are acrylic paint or if they're similar, but they work the same way and they are super easy to use. So here's what it looks like. It's got a really fine tip, which makes it easy to do the nail art. I did go ahead and prime them off camera and I should have actually shown you how I primed them. So when you first get them, you need to shake them really well. And then to prime them, you wanna take like a piece of paper or something where you can keep pressing the tip down until the paint or whatever it is flows down into the tip of the pen. For the two nails that I'm going to do the nail art on, I did go ahead and remove the tacky layer of the gel using a lint-free wipe and some isopropyl alcohol just to make the paint apply a little smoother. And so I will say, I'm just gonna do flowers at the tip of my middle finger and then my entire ring finger. But I will say that for the pens, sometimes you do have to press down a little bit. It doesn't just automatically flow when you press the tip down. So sometimes, sometimes you may have to press a little bit, but it's super easy to use as you can see, and it doesn't really spread. And you know, if you have a gel allergy, I think these are really great for doing nail art. Another great thing about these pens is if you mess up, you can just easily remove it with a lint-free wipe and some isopropyl alcohol. So it's super easy. Even if it's dry, you can just remove it that way. And they dry super quick. I'd say maybe like 15, 20 seconds and they're dry. And of course, before you apply any kind of top coat to them, you do want to make sure they're completely dry because you don't want to smear it. So I'm going to go ahead and do like the the actual flowers and I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'll go in with the yellow pen I believe I used to do the centers but I want to make sure that they're completely dry first before I put another color on top so I don't mix the colors together on the tip of the pens.
possible. Once the paint is completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and use this 5-in-1 strengthening gel from Daily Charm. So this is a really thick gel. It's kind of like a builder gel consistency. And I'm just going to use it because I don't want any texture to my nails. So it's going to really smooth out. Not that the paint is very thick at all, but it's going to kind of smooth over because it's so thick to where my nails are an even surface. So because I'm doing it to my flower nails, I'm going to go ahead and do it to all my nails just so they're all have an even amount of coverage. Even though this is a thicker gel, it is self-leveling and it levels itself very beautifully so I don't really have to worry about application. I do turn my finger upside down for a couple seconds first anyway and then after I'm done I'll cure it for a full 60 seconds. I cured the strengthening gel for a full 60 seconds, so now I need gel top coat because it is not a top coat. So this is the Diamond Shine No Wipe Gel Top Coat from Daily Charm as well. So I'm gonna apply a thin even layer of that to all my nails and then cure them for 60 seconds. As always, I'm gonna finish off my mani by rehydrating my cuticles using my Scales of Mermaid cuticle oil. This is in the scent You Bring Me Home, which is one of my favorites to use, which is why I have it in a dropper bottle, because I use this one all the time because it's just a really great, subtle, unassuming scent, if that makes sense. It's not really in your face. It's just really great for everyday wear. 
And of course it's ultra hydrating because my skin gets so dry because I wash it so many times a day and then I do so many manis. So my skin just gets really dry. It takes a beating. So I love using this cuticle oil. So that's why I kind of slather myself with it. But the good thing is it does absorb quickly. So I don't stay very oily for long. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I just wanted to do just a quick and easy springtime mani and I was really eager to try these new micro art pens from the Daily Charm which I highly recommend because they were so fun and so easy to use. So I hope this video is helpful. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue creating content like this and it helps YouTube recommend me to others which helps grow my channel. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I upload content every Monday and Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.